in this morning's Family First, we're talking about a major concern for parents who have young children at home. With young ones spending more time in the house because of the pandemic, the risk of choking becomes more of an issue. Matt Scott, even when I babysit, you know, this gives me chills. Yeah. And it can happen quickly with something really small. And that's the problem because, you know, choking is an issue full stop. But this, what we're focusing on for this Family First, is something that is in your house if you are any parent of any kid with any electronic that's the key word and uh, this is something that has become a big issue in hospitals all across the country listen to this one local story and see what you can learn from it Cameron Soto was just a year old when this little tyke had the scare of his life Cameron was playing with his toys on the on the floor and um, all of a sudden I looked over because I didn't hear him doing anything and he was hunched over and I knew that something was wrong. A trip to the ER at Connecticut Children's Medical Center revealed that Cameron was choking. And when they did an x-ray they found that he had a, a lithium coin battery stuck in his esophagus. But there was more. That battery put Cameron in a coma for two months. Damage to his vocal cords prevented him from breathing on his own. About 3,500 kids in the United States each year are treated for button battery injuries. Christopher Grindle is an ENT specialist at CCMC. There seems to be lately a lot more uh, kids that are coming in having ingested them. Is that true? Yeah, so, you know, it's always a problem, but, you know, in the pandemic times with kids, you know, spending more time at home, they have more access to devices and things around the home. And uh, one of those things are uh, lithium ion batteries. One thing that scared me most of all was not so much the choking hazard, but the chemical reaction of the battery with the esophagus. So what happens when a butt battery gets stuck in the esophagus is that it starts to generate a little bit of uh, current around it and even an old expired battery and that causes a, a chemical injury and a caustic burn and that can happen within 15 20 minutes which means you need to act fast if you think your child has swallowed one the problem often in houses with children they're everywhere in the home and in the playroom in the center of most electronic devices including games and toys your kids use so what can you do Call 911 immediately. You say time is of the essence. What do you do? Get to an emergency department, ideally one that specializes in children and treating children because you need a, a, a group of people with specialized skills to take care of this. While you're waiting for the ambulance, alert poison control because poison is an issue as well. There are things they may be able to support you with while you're waiting. For little Cameron, a two-month coma led to a tracheotomy and a slow recovery. He's just so happy and it just shows you how like resilient kids are and how they just bounce back from, you know, a lot of things. All right, so what can you do to prevent? Well, it's very important to know where the button batteries are in your house. And we're not just talking about the fresh ones, the dead ones too. We'll get back to that in just a second. But first, take steps to make sure that they're as secure as possible. And here's the point. When you're trading them out, dispose of the old ones immediately. Wrap them up and trash them so small hands don't see them. And Keith, you were telling mm -hmm. us during the story that you just replaced a battery for your niece or nephew. I, I did it for my uh, my friend's son, four okay. years old. It was in a, in a Batman watch, but right. they're in every device. But here's the thing. It's not a matter of just taking the one out and put it in. You have to Make get sure that you one. take the right. old one and get rid of it because it's just as lethal. Mm -hmm. God, so scary. Yeah. Yeah, and Audrey did a story on this not too long ago as well. It is, mm -hmm. it is happening, I think, more than people think. Yeah.